The powerful tribute to Congressman John Lewis in Washington, D.C. tonight, the civil rights icon lying in state in the Capitol Rotunda, his casket resting on the same wooden platform used for Abraham Lincoln. Members of Congress from both sides of the aisle and then former Vice President Joe Biden and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, paying their respects late today. The president saying he would not go. Along the way in the Capitol, the hearse carrying John Lewis passed the Lincoln Memorial and Black Lives Matter Plaza. Pierre Thomas tonight from Washington on a moving day. Today, Representative John Lewis came to Washington. His entire legacy fully embraced by the nation and saluted by his peers as the conscience of Congress. He arrived at the nation's capital just 24 hours after that remarkable full circle moment when his horse-drawn Kassan crossed that bridge in Selma, where he and others were beaten by racist state troopers in 1965. But today, moments to be celebrated, riding past the African-American museum that he was instrumental in creating. His hearse stopping at the memorial of his mentor, friend, and civil rights icon, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The motorcade driving near the Supreme Court, where the longtime Georgia Democrat has fought for voting rights. And a moment of silence at the Lincoln Memorial, where he burst onto the national scene at the 1963 March on Washington. We do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. <laughs> wake up, America, wake up! Construction workers, police, and others saluting the man whose impact was so enormous that he brought together Republicans and Democrats today, even in this hyperpartisan Washington. Ready, stop. History only bent toward what's right because people like John paid the price. How fitting it is that in the final days of his life, he summoned the strength to acknowledge the young people peacefully protesting and in the same spirit of that march. Indeed, as he battled cancer in the final days, Lewis making a point to visit the Black Lives Matter Plaza in the nation's capital. Today, the House Speaker letting Lewis give his own eulogy. You must find a way to get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. In that 2014 speech at Emory University, Lewis almost prophetically was urging young people to press onward for freedom for all. There may be some setbacks, some delays, some disappointment, but you must never, ever give up. Lewis the fiery orator was often soft-spoken in his personal life, known for being kind, known for showing grace. grace. David, former Vice President Biden was here today to pay his respects, but the president said he's not coming. David? All right, Pierre Thomas watching this day for us. Pierre, thank you. And Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.